Hello everyone, in today's video we will see how to encrypt our on-premise Windows 10 machines using Intune. Before we go ahead and do that, let's look at the ways by which we can encrypt our machines. So the first way available to us is using AD, on-premise AD. In this, you set up some group policies and you encrypt the machines and save the keys in Active Directory. This does not give us any self-service portal or anything. This is a free solution. The second one is MBAM, wherein we install MBAM server. We have a SQL server database with us. We, we save the keys and it also provides us the option where user can recover the keys using a self-service portal. But it's a paid solution. The third one is Azure AD. So in this demo, we will save the keys in Azure AD. But this also does not provide us any option where we will have a self-service recovery portal. The last one is SCCM. So now MM has been deprecated by Microsoft. So basically we only have two options. Either we use Azure AD, SCCM, sorry, three options or AD. But with AD, we don't get any advantage of self-service portal. With SCCM, we do get self-service portal and it has a lot of reports as well. And already if we are managing our machines and have SCCM client installed, so this makes sense. In Azure AD, the key is saved on Azure AD, so it does not give us many options like self-service recovery, etc. But in this demo, we will see this option, how we gonna enable it. In order to enable BitLocker encryption for our on-premise machines, there are some prerequisites. First of all, the on-premise machine identity has to be synced to Azure using Azure AD Connect. So that will be a hybrid AD join machine. And if it's being managed by SCCM, then the device configuration workload has to be transferred to Intune. So let me show you my SCCM server where I have already transferred the device configuration workload for this machine to Intune. I have co-management enabled and the workload for device configuration has been transferred for Pilot Intune. I already have Pilot Intune collection created wherein my PC has been added. And if we check on Intune portal under devices, all devices, this Win10 DOM, this is being managed by MDM and Config Manager. So this is my on-prem domain join machine and the device configuration workload is being managed by Intune managed workloads. We will have to create a policy here. So we will in Intune, we will go to device configuration profiles, create profile. Uh, let's name it BitLocker Encryption. It's applicable to Windows 10 and later. The configuration type would be endpoint protection and Windows encryption. We will have to enable the first option to encrypt the device. These are global settings. So we have to select block here, warning for other disk encryption to enable silent encryption on the machines without any user intervention. We will allow standard users to enable encryption during Azure AD join. We can also change the encryption methods. This is for the OS drive, bit local OS drive settings. So we will encrypt only the OS drive. So I will make it required. I will block the devices with non-compatible TPM chip and I will allow TPM and allow TPM with pin. I will disable the startup key options. By default, it will encrypt using TPM, but a user can set a pin as well. I will enable a minimum pin length, which would be six characters. We will enable OS device recovery and save the BitLocker recovery information to Azure AD. And store recovery information in Azure AD before enabling BitLocker. 
these are the settings for fixed drives then removable drives i don't need them so i will leave them as it is so once the policy gets created i will apply it to a uh, ad group which my windows 10 machine is part of so i will select windows 10 so this is my group which my windows 10 machine is part of i will save the policy so these are the only settings which are required from intune side let me connect to my windows 10 machine so this is my windows 10 client machine where i have pushed the encryption currently it is disabled so we don't see a lock icon here if i go under control panel it should show that it's not encry encrypted so we go to control panel then bitlocker drive encryption so it says see bitlocker off so we will wait for a few minutes and see whether the encryption starts or not i will show you the place where you can see the event ids as well so you can go under event viewer application and services log microsoft windows bitlocker api management so this is the place where you can see logs so currently it's showing bitlocker decryption was started so this is an old entry where i disabled the bitlocker on this so now the drive is unencrypted so we will wait few minutes for the policy to come and then see whether it works or not i am going to pause the video now and come back once the encryption starts now the encryption has started we see that there is a lock icon here and if i go under control panel and bitlocker drive encryption it shows that it is encrypting now let us go back to our azure portal in azure active directory and see whether we have bitlocker key there or not so i will go to azure ad devices this is my device win 10 domain and it is showing my bitlocker key it's showing two bitlocker keys because the other one was uh, previously when i tested it so that's the old one and it is also showing the latest bitlocker recovery key here if you remember we selected enable tpm and enable tpm with pin so by default it's setting up tpm only but if a user want they can set up a pin as well so in control panel bitlocker drive encryption we go and click on choose how to unlock driver startup we select enter pin so we have to enter a pin here which would be minimum six characters so i have set the pin here so let me reboot and see whether it asks me for any pin or not while it is still encrypting it is asking me for the pin let me enter a pin here i will enter an incorrect pin and it should fail i will press escape for bitlocker recovery and copy the key from here and paste it in there let's see whether this key works or not and we are able to recover the system so i'm going to pause the video till the time i type this key i have typed the key here let me press enter and see whether it works or not yes the key has worked so it is going into my operating system now all right let us check the encryption status if the drive is encrypted It is encrypt showing encrypting here i can change the pin as well so now i can change the pin as well all right i have changed the pin now so this was a small demo on how to enable bitlocker encryption for 
our hybrid domain joint machines. It's uh, very easy as compared to MBAM. You do not have to set up any servers or any group policies or any SQL database. But it has less features like you do not get self-service recovery portal here unlike MBAM. But MBAM has not been deprecated. We can use SCCM 1910 as well to set up BitLocker. That will give us the option to have self-service recovery portal. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and press the bell notification icon on my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.